Hey guys, it's Furious Black. I wanted to talk about a couple things that I've been researching and looking into and uh, been thinking about. Um, a lot of people, you know, been saying a lot of others are ignorant or don't know stuff. And last night, something came to my attention. It was like a video that I watched is like talking about ego. And, you know, I've heard about it before when I studied other things and it talked about ego and ego is who you are, right? To the core, which that thing called ego is what makes you not to want, not makes you not want to learn anything. Right. So that's what makes you judge other things according by how you feel or how you was taught as a young person, man or woman. Right. So say you're five years old, your ego is being taught things saying, OK, be, we're Christian. God is white. Uh, school is good. Your school teacher is good. Police are good. America's great. Uh, um, only drive certain car, kind of cars. Uh, stay away from these type of people. That's what builds your ego. That's what builds you, your, your, your flesh, right? Then you have your conscience, which is the spirit of you, right? Which is always willing to learn other things, but your ego and your conscience is always fighting with each other i'm saying conscience for for lack of a better word like it's not conscience but it's like it's like i would say your spirit that that uh wants to get closer or grow towards uh something that makes you a better human being you see what i'm saying makes you one with 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 the world you know like not like just people but in unison with how the the operating system of the world is but your ego is something that makes you want to be uh contrary to that and what i've realized right because i was in a conversation with a young sister yesterday i also realized this that I, as a black uh american or uh black Hebrew Israelite, I can't uh, convey to uh, a Hispanic person uh, the the plight or the injustice of a black person the way that another Hispanic can, you know, it's like, I, I wouldn't listen to a white person tell me how I should feel, you feel me, so it comes down to ego where you think you know something, but you only know of something that you was taught, right? She gave me a uh, say, uh, example of a fact that she knows that this thing, which is a laptop, is a laptop. And I said, okay, well, you know that this is a laptop, right? But the only way you know that this is a laptop is that you had to believe the person that told you it was a laptop. Do you get what I'm saying? Everything starts off with a belief. So if you start to cut things off before you get to know what it is, you are limiting your beliefs, your belief system. And that is stroking your ego. You're saying, no, my ego is right. Right? And your knowledge of what you think is wrong. That's what your ego is telling you to say to others when they bring something that is outside of what your ego knows, right? So this is the basic construct of information that you know, right? That's called ego. And if you don't know how to bypass it or to or to recognize that it, it, it's you fighting against uh, uh, what's what's being presented? Factor, factor, uh, fiction. If you bu don't bypass it and you let it win, you become ignorant of other things, right?
Do you get what I'm saying? You become ignorant of other things, so you don't want to learn other things because it sounds outlandish to yourself, which is your ego. So, if you're a Christian and you believe Christ came to die for everybody, and then a Hebrew Israelite comes to you and says God didn't die for everybody, and your enemies is, isn't talking about everybody, it's talking about those that come from Israel, your ego says, no, that's not what I was taught as a child. I cannot believe that. And that's where we have to start realizing most of us are stroking our ego. Right? Like when GOCC comes out with other extra books and prove it, they prove it. Right? With other books. But because of your ego, you say, no, they're wrong because I know that my teacher which, you know, is ego, taught me that those other books aren't biblical, you see? But if they're spoken about in your biblical books, or they talk about stuff that's in the biblical books, like the book of Enoch, or the book of Jubilee, Jubilees, my fault, book of Jubilees, or the, the, the Apocrypha, or the New Testament, because you have Old Testament Israelites, um, or the book of Jasher. These things were referenced in the scriptures, right? Or the book of Zabak, right? Where you know that there was a tribe of Levites that left Israel to keep the laws. It tell you that, right? So... Then the scriptures tell you um, that the woman would help, the earth would help the woman, right? To swallow up the lies of the dragon. So it's like, if you stroke your ego and you don't let your ego uh, realize that you're in control and that the information that is being presented to you is to make you grow and you don't recognize that, that, that your ego is holding you back from information that you need to know then you start to lose and that's where you mess up that's where a lot of us mess up because our ego makes us ignorant our ego makes us stupid our ego makes us say things that we know necessarily isn't true so that I'm furious black and I wanted to show people about ego a little bit that I studied a little bit about I knew a little bit about it before that but now I know a lot more about it. So I wanted to get that out before I forget it. So with that, I'm Furious Black. And